Hello there. Tonight we're gonna. It's been a while since we've I've seen you because I've been a little bit busy with all my garden and the flowers and everything. But tonight we're gonna do the raised garden bed part four before we um, give myself a little refreshment here. Before oh yeah, I'll show you something else I'm working on my floor. I'm thinking about putting in a new floor here. This is one that Alex looked at a long time ago. So, it's some kind of teak or something from Brazil. Anyway, we're gonna do the raised garden bed, part three. It's a nice warm night out, so I'm gonna get myself a little iced drink here. And see if I can find a bottle opener or something. There we go, right there. So we're going to take a look at the raised garden bed, bed that we started a while ago. Remember, this is the one that we built in, in the garage. So we'll see how I put it outside. And we'll see how everything's growing in the raised garden bed. As I put all of our tomatoes in there and everything. And I got myself a little Kool Aid. Let me flip it around. There's our little chopsticks. And here's our raised garden bed. Everything's all nice and green out here. There it is. On the bottom is all the flowers here. It rained really bad. And I'm worried about my little guys here, but they'll come back. This one looks beautiful and all these. This was a little clone I tried to make, but it didn't work out. However, I was successful in cloning a tomato plant. It's right over here. I cut off a branch of a tomato and put it in there and I kept watering it and now it's going really nicely. There I got tomatoes right there and this was a clone plant right here from a brandy wine. It'll get bigger. There's a 4th of July right there. An early girl. See the flowers back there? And some nice flowers from the neighbor. And we got all kinds of fun stuff and the birdhouse right up there. So what we're doing today is we're going to plant a couple zinnias. I'm going to just uh, see what I planted them in the seed starter. And there's three of them in there. I'm just going to tear off the outside of it real gently. See all the roots are coming out. This is probably a little, waited a little too long with this one. But there's, I usually put three seeds to one pod, those are zinnias, and if you gently pull it, you can feel the natural separation there uh, between the roots. Sometimes it'll be a little bit harder, but you're going to be a little sad for a couple days after losing some of the roots. <clears throat> That'll be fine. And you just take your skinny spade, this is Annika's, just take your skinny spade and push down in the soil. And move it aside a little bit, drop it in there like that. I'll show you. I'll show you on the next one. And another one. These are zinnias, but it looks like there might have been a different kind of seed in there. Kind of gets crazy when you're planting. It's hard to tell between the seeds. Let me put the phone down here now. Maybe you can see how I do it. I'm just going to take it, I just tick the, stick the spade in and move the soil to the side. Just push it down, move it to the side and drop that little guy in there and put the dirt back around it. 
gardening is so fun and easy. Really easy. Unless you got a squirrel around. That makes it a little bit more challenging. He likes to he likes to The neighbor feeds him peanuts, so he, uh, he likes to plant his uh, barium in the garden here. This is a, pe a ghost pepper plant that I got a while ago, and I think it's warm enough outside to put it in the house. Just take it out of there like that. Sometimes you can loosen up the roots a little bit, but this one's really loose already, so I'm going to... Go ahead and leave it like that and I'm gonna put it right over here I'll show you where I'm gonna put it but my hands are all dirty I'm gonna put it right over here I had a pepper in here that I got but it died I put it out a couple weeks ago and it was still too cold so I'm just gonna probably pull this guy out yeah you can see it's dead so but we'll save the peppers my neighbor ate one of those last night. So, uh, what you can do is take a look at how big the pot is and just dig that out. Really easy to do. Don't be shy. You can't really mess it up. There's no way to make any mistakes in the garden. Mother Nature is very forgiving. I'm going to put it right there. No, actually we're going to put it over here. There's a support beam right down the middle there. See that right there? Right down the middle there's a board right there. So we'll have to go to one side. You don't want to... Peppers you don't want to bury too deep. Tomatoes you can bury as deep as you want. But peppers you got to kind of stay in their normal line. That's about right. You can't bury peppers deeper. Now tomatoes though. They'll, they'll grow roots almost anywhere. See, make sure that little leaf gets out there, little soldier. And that's all there is to it. This little fella here, I'm not sure what to do with him yet. I've been kind of moving him around. But this is going to be our ghost pepper right here. This will be exciting. I wish I would have, I wish I had the, the label for that. I know I probably have it in the house somewhere. That's it, here's another pepper, and he's going a little bit better. I can probably take the, the steak off of him, put a little steak on there to prop him up, but he looks like he's doing fine, so he's gonna be, take that steak out like that. See how he does on his own. Yeah, he's strong enough. You don't wanna leave that steak in there too long because he won't grow up on his own. His basil are getting pretty old. They've been, they've been planted in the house since January, so they're already going to seed. If you look at that, remember that would happen normally in the fall that they get flowers and go to seed. So the new ones, remember, in the spring, this is the nice round leaves that we want. But when they get sharp, that usually happens later in the fall and they don't taste so good and you wanna hurry up and pick them and eat them. But these fellas are kinda of sagging over and I don't know why. So we're just gonna prop them up like that. Prop them up a little bit higher and it looks like that pepper plant's gonna come back too. So that's it. That's our raised garden bed. It's looking pretty good. Put a couple of zinnias down. Those are gonna be beautiful. I have a few more. Maybe we'll crowd another one in here while we're here. Uh, I'll crowd this one in here. I got about, no. I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait and do it later. I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many is in there? Can you count? Seven of them. <clears throat> and eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. I think I'm gonna plant those in a planter maybe. Why don't we bring one of our planters out here? 
and plant it in there. That'll look really nice. Yeah, let's plant it in this red one here. This one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put the phone down here. I'm gonna put the phone down somewhere right over here. And I'll go get the dirt. soil here mixed with raised garden bed soil garden bed soil together with potting soil so I'll show you what it looks like just like that and I'm gonna put the zinnias in there hold on one second close together so what I'm gonna do is maybe maybe I'll leave a couple of them close together hope they do good I'm worried about it's supposed to get down to 60 tonight I hope they're gonna be okay pulling them apart and putting them outside at the same time probably isn't a very good idea too much shock altogether for them I might put them in the garage overnight, then I'll put it out in the morning. Give them a little time. They'll stay warm in there, really nice and warm in the garage overnight. I think I'll probably won't separate the other two. I think I might be getting into danger here by not leaving them together. Do some more. Since we're having fun now, I'm not gonna pull them apart so much though. I got plenty of them. I'm gonna leave them. If they're too really close together, then you should, probably should just might want to leave them together. Pull that. There's a mesh on the outside of those seed pods. I'm gonna pull that off because I don't think they'll grow very well. Roots might, might not develop very well. And just drop it in the hole. It's that easy. A couple mosquitoes out here. Checking it out. I think they're supposed to be like four, four to six inches apart. Which means we can probably put one, two. We can probably put. Maybe 12 or 16 in this big, huge pot. I'll give them enough room to 
for their roots to grow, for them to be healthy and happy. Oh, there's five in here, darn it. I hope I don't hurt them. I always worry about that. And the little guys. And when you hear that ripping, that means you're possibly hurting them. Sound that's the roots. Not a good sound. That's why I like to use that coconut stuff. That coconut stuff you can just kind of spread them apart naturally. Like this one here. Kind of pulls right naturally and nice apart. you in a second. They all got about four inches in between them. But they're gonna grow, they're gonna fill in. See this is probably the perfect one right there. See that? How they're all spread out, three of them, and I'll be able to pull them apart without even harming each other nice and spaced out. You don't have to pull them apart if you don't want to. You can plant them just like that. I don't think it'll hurt them at all. These came really easy apart. And these are a little bit younger too. A little bit younger. So um, I'm probably going to do have a little bit less shot. But I won't leave them out overnight. Remember I'm worried about the there's a cat in the window, not basil. Basil over there, I'll show you a picture of him too. Now, I'm just dropping them down in there. Make sure right afterwards you give them a lot of water. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna put maybe two more in here. There's two of them, but there's a little baby down in there. Look at that. A little freebie right over there. See it? I'll try to save him. There you go. I saved him. All right. So he's going to live to see another day. I'm nice and gentle with him. And it'll work out great. Don't get too close to the edge. The roots like a little bit of extra room. Oh, yeah. This is going to be amazing. Today is about, I think, June 2nd, something like that. So, oh, looks like my neighbors are coming over pretty soon. So we're going to sit outside tonight and have a little fire at my fire pit here. I got a fire pit and some of these tiki torches we sit outside at night. Let me chat. I think that's all I got. There's a... Looks like that one must have died. Yeah, it died. I see a whole bunch of roots. So I'm just going to... Oh. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> just sending a message. Alright, that's it for tonight. I'll talk to you later.